Y'all care if I share a party audio in the broadcast? Oh, they're gonna run Richmond next. God damn it. Just did this track. I fucking hate this track. I'm just gonna run in the back. You at least gotta do the track after Richmond. Alright, let's see how long it takes us to mess something up at this track. How long y'all think it's going to take? I think it's going to take the first corner. Uh, but you got that Manny Fresh in here too, so that's Blaine's biggest, that's Blaine's rival right there. <laughs> mm, yeah, he's more, yeah, about the same, I guess. Okay, he's so more than that I was racing with Blaine for my first time. Well, he slowed down in front of me at Eldora. He got out of the throttle to go around the corner. I stayed in the throttle. That did not work too well. <laughs> I went under him, and then he was ticked off whenever I joined the party with all y'all. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he started, you remember he started cussing me when I got to the party? He did. He was not happy. He wasn't happy about that crap. I'm like, man, you don't slow down. I had to make it. No, you don't. You're supposed to hit the wall where I go by. That was my exact words. Oh shoot. I'm about to hit Eli. Sorry. Oh, Joker lap. You doing that Joker lap on purpose? Gosh, I didn't need to. I was just aiming for it, so <laughs> I, just, I took it. I didn't want to try to hit, miss that wall. Is Grump in the party with us? No. I don't know what that crap was about. They just straight up spun me out. Did you watch it? The red car? He's gonna hate me when I catch him again. Well, there you go. No, he, I, got, I went to take him and I completely whiffed. Y'all might not want to be anywhere near him in the first corner. Where do we go now? He's going to be on the outside. You're going to be on the inside. I'm me. Whoops. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and say sorry. <laughs> <laughs> He'll be on the inside and I'll be on the inside. So will you be on the inside. You'll be in the middle of it. So this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna move up a little bit and you just, you just pass me. Okay. I'll let you just right by me. Oh no, Blaine. Blaine, you better get out of the way, buddy. Get, uh, drop straight to the inside. Yep, and just go down there. And I'll stay with you on that. Car ain't turning, no. <laughs> I was about to end up getting Eli. I tried to get him, but I ain't got a custom God, setup man. here. Okay, car. Whoops, oh, sorry, Eli. <laughs> I thought I cleared you in the right rear corner of my car, got you. Oh, that's all good. If I would have had another inch before the car slid up, I would have cleared you. That's my thing. That's the thing that amazes me a lot. Hey, he's right in front of you. Yeah. He's about to get <laughs> I'm it. I'm right behind you. Well, inside of you. Blaine's behind you. Let's see, do I do this and turn one? Yeah, I'll do it turn one. Got 
got him. Sorry, Manny. I passed him. Look. <laughs> I just took out Manny on accident. <laughs> no, that was that was complete accident. I hit the wall when I was trying to hit fucking uh, him. The red car got back down and. It Well, boys, I got him. I don't know where the jeans going, but okay. I'm setting cars up, and I'm bumping once. of a setup that Crazy Jeans got. Yeah, he definitely, he, he's fast, that's for sure. To be fair, but Crazy Jeans, when he spun out, I kind of helped him spin out the rest of the way. <laughs> like laying a push him sideways down the back stretch. Yeah, that's something I've noticed about Blaine. He just, he's gotten to where he ain't trying to learn anymore. He's just out here to do it, whatever he wants, basically. He, he's actually, he actually put all my setups in, so he was doing really good. He was. He got your setups. He got your setups and decided to call it quits on learning. <laughs> that's what it is. Oh, Crazy Gene. Crazy Gene quit. Huh? Crazy Gene quit. He's, he's right down. here in front of me. He's pitting. How the fuck? How the fuck did he get a lap down? He hit the wall. All right, maybe now this car will turn since I turned the wedge from 50 to 46 or 45. Slows down and crazy Gene nails me. Watch out, Eli. Wish I could hit me out. Yeah, you ain't too worried about trying to race. Crazy Gene. Look, there he goes again. How can you race somebody if you're trying to take them out? <laughs> he was just all over my ass trying to spin me out. He tried to spin him out. That didn't work. So he slammed him in the door and it didn't work to wreck him that way either. <laughs> He's getting ticked off. I can tell it. I don't care. Guess what? He hurt my one feeling, which is none. Carl's message me. He says, "Hey, apologize. That was bullshit." <laughs> apologize for what? Me hitting him? <laughs> that's the only person that's hit him this race was me. And when I hit him, it didn't really wreck him. I just bumped him, letting him know, "Hey, if you don't speed up, I'm passing you." Right. Fuck you, you can't speed up, get the fuck off the track. <laughs> no, I ain't gonna tell him get off the track. I'm just gonna tell him move over or I'm pass if he's gonna go that slow. Cause tonight I wanna race. Last night, I didn't really care. I was just there. I wanna win a dang race tonight. Oh, there we go. Heck yeah, here we go. Tonight. I can race this one and yeah. Look at that. CT tries me. I run the seventh fastest time on a preset. Who quit? Ooh. Now it's time to run Eldora. Let's see how great we can do. No, it's funny. What? 
Blinger's probably going to wreck on the first lap. <laughs> I just hope he don't... I just hope that he don't get out of the throttle completely in front of me. All the way through the course. Keep hold your line. That's all you gotta do. Lipstick on the edge of a Starbucks cup. Hold it wide open. Only time you get out of the throttles if you're about to hit the wall. Got that? <laughs> what? What? Oh. oh he probably um what's the word? Lagged out. Yeah, me might have just joined it again. Yeah, but now he's gotta watch. Yeah, join it and go in and spectate. Watch the excitement. <laughs> you mean the wreck fest? Yes, that's what I mean. <laughs> okay. Alright, woo-woo man's about to tick me off. Get off my freaking door. Where is it? This Lulu man, he's got an 88 car, so he thinks he's Dell Jr., I'm guessing. He's straight up <laughs> running all over the side of my door. Woo! <laughs> Dang, Eli, you slowed down a lot. Ouch! Come on, on Dell Jr. My fucking car got way Oops, I guess I'm about to say sorry about that. Really? Alright, do you really want to go there? Guess what? I'm below you. Oh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna use your door just like you done me. There you go. Bye bye. Oh shoot, you <laughs> I cannot fucking. I didn't make it. That was his own fucking fault. <laughs> no, it was mine. Oh. Shit. He bumped the wall. He hit me, and then he spun around. Oh shit. <laughs> I didn't give him no room. He had like two inches of room between me and his door. Oh, fuck. And then he hits the wall and bounces off the wall and hits my car and it throws me to the bottom of the track and he spins around. So he'll probably tell me to say sorry for that. I ain't about to do it in the middle of the race, though. God, I wish whoever's pitting would hurry up and pit. Yeah. Or fucking just get an egg. There you go. Jeez. <sighs> Crazy jeans beside me. Let's see how well this goes for me. Oh, man, he pitted. I'll probably get retaliation off the restart. What the fuck? What the fuck was that? Gene didn't go. Nowhere to go, unfortunately. <laughs> he jumped the wall. I tried not to get you on. I'm not over the fucking track. I was going to get this track to move in there anyway. Fuck. I do wish Woo Woo Man would frickin' move, Mr. Dell Jr. 
<laughs> He's sitting there and he goes in the corner and it's like he looks out of the throttle. Big Carf done made it back to the lead. Oh, we'll see how much this, we'll see how bad this crazy June stuff's going to I mean, he didn't even go off the restart. He just sit there. Yeah, he fucking stopped. <laughs> well, he didn't even go. He never even touched the brake. He just sit there. He just let the car roll to a stop. Which it didn't go to a stop for long, because when it stopped, he had me <laughs> under him. I looked back and I seen his car was up in the air. <laughs> start outside and he starts he starts in front of you and he starts beside me so are you ready for this bush I'm gonna put him I'm gonna push him up just move just get out of your way take it ah oh, crap man. I hit you and not him oh, oh. God. this son of a bitch right here just Oh. Okay. That was, that was man. Manny's gonna get it. Crazy Gene's gonna get it. Nope, never mind. It's not the big next. God, you just shoved Woo Woo Man in the freaking wall. Who the fuck's the cross around you, you fucking bitch? I hate oh. Crazy Gene. I didn't mean to hit you three times. I got all the video proof that he straight up turned me in the middle of the corner. Let me just go to my YouTube channel, which is what this is streaming on, and go back and watch a replay. Are you sleeping? Yeah, she's sleeping, huh? Okay. Don't forget to get don't forget to get your Madden tomorrow, buddy. Well I will. Go down and turn one. I'm chasing big carf down. You alert me about crazy gene. I go and turn three and he turns me. And then I get nailed in the passenger side door by Eli. <laughs> yeah. That's all the proof I need. They just shot it down in the corner underneath me and didn't have it cleared. Well, he starts in front of you. Outside. He's lucky I ain't texting and telling him, telling him to say sorry. <laughs> I don't believe in sorries. I believe in retaliation. I 
Oh, they're about to hate me. I'm about to shove every one of them out the way. <laughs> they slow me down, I'm moving them. Then again, I'll probably get wrecked before I can do anything, so. Memories where everything was bright, just bright blue sky. And when I see your face, it brings me back to a special place. I'll probably break down and cry. Better not text me and tell me to say sorry. Can you just come down on me crazy? This ain't how this works, but I won't tolerate that crap. Dude, he's all over car right now. He's trying to turn me when I went to pass him. I stuffed him in the wall. I was going and I got out of turn three, or no, it was out of turn one, they all slowed down in front of me, so I went to the bottom and passed them all. Well, cars comes down on me at the start of turn one and tries to pinch me down to keep me from getting any momentum while I still passed him. Well, then I go to pass by a crazy Gene, and he wants to turn left and try and wreck me, so I turn left to keep him from doing anything. And then Carve shoved him in the wall? I shoved him back in the wall. Yep. Carf's on my outside right now. Gene's on my outside. Where are you at? Uh, there you did. Did. I'm at first. And I got Carf pushing me up a little bit. Okay, let me see if I can clear a little bit more. Or he just try and wreck me, that works too. Hey, we will not about spun out. How do I finish second if I got a whole half a car linked on? I'm protesting that. <laughs> There's no way. I better go to the back and hang out with Gene. Yeah, I'm gonna go back there too. I got some words I gotta say to him. <laughs> Don't be surprised if you see a finger go out the windshield of my or out the window of my car. Oh, Gene's not pitting now. <laughs> he saw me pit. That's what it was. He's still up he there in front of me. He's a dumb dumb. Hey, Blainer. <laughs> really crazy, Gene. You're a dumb dumb. Oh my god. Permission to wreck Crazy Gene off the restart? Yes. Thanks. Permission, permission granted. <laughs> he's inside, so he's right behind me. Oh, he's, no, he's not. Now. Crazy Gene's got to be crazy to think if I'm going to stick to his outside right here. Oh, sorry, Eli. <laughs> sorry. I still hung him out. I still beat him. <laughs> That's got to tick him off. Carf's gonna, Carf's gonna be coming after you too. I don't give <laughs> flying crap anymore. <laughs> hey, you know, you know how hurt I would be right now if I cared about everything that happened. Somebody left the race. Snowman. Go up, crazy. Go up. Go up, there's a wall there. Go. 
Chris continued to door bang him. That was hilarious. That's fun now. <laughs> Cars <laughs> probably sitting here watching this crap go on in the mirror. Dumb, dumb. You don't wreck somebody to pass them. Yep. I hope it. I hope it broke the bird cage on that car. Freaking moron. He'll probably take they saw it. Nope. You know, it's a good thing I'm recording this crap. Coming. I see him go down low. <laughs> yep, I'm gonna pick because I got Manny Fresh back here. I'm gonna take him out. And then as you're fucking taking Gene out, I'm gonna hammer him back in the wall again. I'll go with you. You wanna oh, go for fine. Gene and I get Manny? Yep, we'll do. <laughs> inside gets inside, outside gets outside. Oh man, he's gonna go down to where I can't get under. That's great. I'm gonna make the pass. There we go. <laughs> They're all throwing it in there. They're trying to make sure you can't pass them. I got news for them. I passed them all in the first corner on the first lap. And I'll do it again. Gene, jeans, jeans right behind you. Yeah, yeah. Back to the point where I break the check. <laughs> he doesn't wreck himself. I just spun him out. <laughs> oh, what? He just spun out on his own right there. Come on, Willie. Stop throwing it in there the way you're doing it. Come on, dude. If I had enough of it. I'm about to win this thing. Here we go. Yes! Bob Bumper. That's fun, crazy G now. <laughs> I give him a little door banger right there at the end of it right before I pass him. <laughs> Yeah, I won right by a freaking bumper. That's awesome. Well, I accomplished my mission. <laughs> I won I the race I tonight. To, I got to spin him out. I was happy with that. Now I get to just ride around the track. Blaine, are you down to win a race? <laughs> How'd you fall back to foot? Uh, What's his name? Carf or whatever? Big Carf. Yeah. I'm still surprised he ain't text me telling me to say him, say sorry. I personally just tell him it's his fault. 
He's probably gonna boot us out right now. He'll probably boot me for being fast. Let's see here. If he does, I'll text him and say, why'd you kick me? If he says it, if he says it's because I wrecked him, I'll be like, yeah, for sure. All I had to do is dive down below you and you moved up. Yeah, He's probably coming for me. us. Yeah. Not yet. No, not yet. I'm surprised. I ain't about to race this race with him if he's not in here. <laughs> here, I'm leaving. I'm going back with Blainer. All right, Blainer. What are we going to race next? All right, guys. Well, I'm going to go ahead and get off, and I will see you guys try tomorrow. No. Right. Blaine, get your Madden downloaded. Mine will be downloading tonight. And, uh, Bush, be safe tomorrow. Yeah, I'll try. <laughs> We'll talk to you guys all later. All right. I'm setting up a lobby. I might have some friends that race dirt in here. All right, Blainer, I got a lobby up. Me and you will run some races and let you get a little bit better. Try to. Yeah, I like racing with you. <laughs> I don't know him. Should we give him a chance? Sure. Okay. I give him a third chance. Actually, hold up. That was too late to kick him now. Crap. Crap. <laughs> he wrecks me again. We're going to have words. I hope he got a good look at who the freaking lobby leader is whenever he got in.
pulling them away. Look at that. Bronco sitting there cussing his race car. Look at that catch. This is bullshit. First stage didn't go to some hobo for sure. Kings of Pins done ruined his chance with me. He straight up left the race. get underneath you. <laughs> Some people you can't even be nice to. I'm gonna do third person so when the camera gets a good view of me getting in the door. Straight up pulling on the top side that way. Oh, he got under him, that's why he went up. I saw him violently come up towards me. I'm like, oh, if I can wreck you now, look, you're underneath him. Oh, oh he just wrecked me.
trying to keep some distance between my car and this car. Certain tracks you run where the top lane's a preferred lane. I guess I figured out what tracks those are. Bristol's normally the one I run on the top side. Where do you want to run next, Blinger? except for Jefferson and Richmond. Sure. I need to figure out what's going on with my shocks there. They ain't set right. Oh, it's 2.18 in the morning. Where do you live at? Iowa. Gee, you and Eli are pretty close. Nice. Nice. Oh, I want to change to Texas or Las Vegas. I wouldn't be paying attention to track what track we were on. I think I need to throw 20 more pounds from the left rear shock to the right rear shock. I don't know what's going on with this car, but I have a feeling that's what it is. Because, you know, whenever you have the shock set right, your car is a completely different machine. That's my thing. If you didn't give me like a setup, that'd be screwed. Mm-hmm. You know how wedge works? The lower the number, the looser the car. The higher the number, the tighter the car. And your grill tape basically just tapes on the grill.
down and not to do this. Maybe that won't hurt nothing. I went up a pound on my right rear tire. Try and get it to rotate more. More air you put in, more steam to the tire, which means less surface. Ooh, crap, this thing throws it. Here's something else. In some instances, depending on how high you go with your grill tape, it tightens the car up to make it want to push. If you're running a real short race, like a seven lap race, that's when you duct tape that grill off. Go 100%. Once again, once it gets over 260, I think it is, and that temp light comes on, the car ain't worth a flip anymore. So it's really three percent race. Well, you have to, you got the lead. So I'll figure out how to pass these two more hunts in front of them. I got past them, but I didn't quite get on the rear end of the car. Something else. When 
you're setting up a car, you throw more weight off your left side than you do on the right side, so it's far times better. But if the right side of the car, the car is dependent on turning off the road. Especially on your side. If you're doing a road course like walking to win, I leave it about halfway. Keep the car away the same thing on each side. Well, I think you, how bad do you think Woo Woo's going to be now that I beat him twice? I won absolutely no stages and won the checkered. Can you see how I kind of reserved my car until the last stage? I knew something was up with it, so I was getting all I could get in the first stage. I fixed the problem, was getting all I could get in the second stage. Then the third stage, I really turned it up. Yeah. That one spot in the wall is the roughest. Let's see, we'll go. Which one we just race? Las Vegas? We'll go Texas. Hold up, I know that rolling Rasta. Go ahead and invite him into the party. Alright. Give him enough time to join the party. That laser lead dude's pretty fast, so if he gets up on you, I just move. There's Rowan Rasta. <laughs> Snowman just sent me a freaking in her friend's request. <laughs> <laughs> I guess me kicking streaming his tail made him want to be friends. Yeah, I'm streaming. Hey, stream. <laughs> I just kicked these guys' tails and they're beating my door off to try and pass me. That's the only reason I joined, to be honest. I saw you were streaming. Yeah. I want to come say hey. I don't think I've raced with you in a while. No, it's been a long time. I think Since. we've got some time on us. I think it was Heat 3, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. This has been like Heat 3 since I've raced with this guy. Yep. I'm I took doing... 11th in Heat 5 League and Giggity League. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm recording to save myself for when one of these guys decide they want to say I tried and wrecked them. That's, That's all, right. all part of the reason why I'm doing this. He saw he saw my rear end.
You know a crazy Gene 420? Oh, yeah. Yeah, me and him's been into it, too. I, I'm, I'm cool with him, but I'm not. Yeah. I'm only cool with him because he ends in 420. <laughs> 420 gang. I respect him, but I got I got nothing against him personally, but I respect everyone else's beef, just yeah. so. So I know what's going on. I, I was gonna respect him, and then the crap he pulled, yeah, nope. We went to Eldora, and I took the bottom lane. Well, he dives his car in there and turned me around to take it from me and wrecked himself with me. Then I get to think, I'm like, if you're going to try and wreck me, to take the bottom lane from me, why not do it right and take it where you make sure you're still going when you do it? setups I've sent between me and my buddy on mess home messages. I've had it, it, it's a little bit hard running the bottom certain tracks because it just feels looser, more slick. Yeah. But uh other than that that's the only thing I can tell difference wise. I took my wedge back up to 54 54 point five. It was fifty five before I changed it so snowman in here and tell him sorry. It's too tight, so I'll probably just drive around the bottom of the track the rest of the race. But I will go ahead and get snowman in here. 
I hate to be that one that wrecks somebody and then don't never say sorry or anything. Yeah, the only time you really ever wish you had caution is whenever you sit on Bama. Actually, yeah. <laughs> he is. <laughs> My buddy looked at me, he's like, Alabama. And I was like, well, shit, that's actually right, man. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's what he just said. Kansas underscore Kitcher. That sounds like somebody that races asphalt a lot. I don't know if I want to be I've anywhere near him. him. I, I've raced him. Is he good? I uh, I don't think he's dirty, but I've, he's been in a league I've raced. Well, if he's been in a league, I trust him. I'll, Dude, I'll I've had with this race. I had an offer to get into Giggity's league while it's on Heat Four, and I didn't take it. Well, they all left and went to five. Yeah, I remember I was racing with them, and everything was going good. And well, this is right when he started out. his dirt league. Yeah. Everybody was sitting there like, man, you should join Giggity's Dirt League. I'm like, Giggity's got a Dirt League? They're like, yeah. I'm like, I what are you I... trying to tell me? You're trying to tell me I should, like, yeah, you should join it. You're pretty good. I'm like, mm. I do this stuff for a hobby. I don't do it to get out there. Hey, man, I've been doing it, and I, I'm not as good as some of them, but some shit happened tonight in the Giggity race. Yeah. They said that if I got in there, they feel like I would run somewhere in the top five. It was... Lowest tenth. Everyone on all-time, the all-time fastest for Bristol on five was in my A-Main. Cool. That, it was nuts. I, I didn't get much in a main. I finished back to the back like it was about a 16. But that was my first week ever. That's all I'd be in there for is getting points. I would never get down. That's something else I've been told. Everybody looks at me and says, hey, you know, if you would actually try and race for me, then you'd probably do a little bit better. And told me that they thought I could run top five with Giggy. I'm like, oh crap, these people think I'm that cool. Well, everyone, like I said, everyone knows I'm an all time fastest. There's no one on top five. Every one of them is an active racer. Everyone on that list is a 
He give me his his setups and stuff. I'm running them on every track, but Charlotte and or not Charlotte. I'm running them on every track, but Jefferson and Richmond because those are the two he don't have. But he give me his setups and he said, "Look, I want you to actually try and win." I still ain't done it. I just I've won so much in online since heat three to heat four now that it just it really is not well, impress, impressive anymore all right so i just put in a new tile setup me is my Atlanta setup. It's too loose, but if I go up one notch, it's way too far tight. Kansas kid's been in the back the whole dang time. Where'd you say you were from when we played last, Ro Rasta? You want to guess first? Central. Kentucky? Nebraska. Oh. I don't even think there's a central Kentucky. Some people think it's central. As uh, someone in the central, I don't know about that. <laughs> See, there's a... Uh... You, you think, you think, I think central, and I think Tornado Alley. I think right down here. Like, North Dakota, South Dakota, us... I'm not really central. Mississippi is for sure. That's one of the places I will live. And luckily for me, my biological dad, who I go to see every once in a while, lives in Iuka, Mississippi. Last time we went up there, we were running from an EF3. What was that about? We were sitting there, we were 
coming up to the railroad track and there's a train there. And we thought he's still moving, so we come to a stop. Well, he sit there for a couple seconds and he just stayed at a dead stop. We're like, oh, he's taking, he's about to just sit here through the thing. I'm like, no, whatever. So we blow on through the thing. We blow over across the railroad track get to the next field and look to our left and shine a flashlight out and there it was. Tornadoes are only scary if you're not born in a place where you crack up here and wash the damage. <laughs> See, the past couple three tornado signs we've had to watch right here where I live at in Alabama. Me and my stepdad just goes out on the freaking front porch and watches watches them go by. one that went through Nashville. My parents had a friend that worked in a crane up there. He was operating the crane when the sirens went off. And unfortunately he had nowhere to go so he got to watch it through the windshield of the crane. Well shit, I cannot imagine that one. <laughs> imagine watching a tornado through a crane. <laughs> Way up in the sky. So what do I do? Do I go ahead and jump, hit the ground, and die? Or do I just sit here and watch my life I'm, flash I'm, before I'm my eyes? I'm praying that that's enough weight to keep you still. Because <laughs> I don't and, think know, I have enough time personally to get down. It, uh... Well, your only you know, option's you, a staircase or a really slow-moving elevator. Then, <laughs> then you still gotta get the fuck out of there. Yeah. He, uh... If you don't lock those cranes, it takes and literally spins them like a play toy. That's if they're not locked into place. So if you ain't got it locked into place, you might want to lock your door and put on a seatbelt. <laughs> that would be like a roller coaster ride from hell. Yeah. There's been a one past 10 miles from me. That's the closest one I've had to me. The closest one I've had here, it was like, it was maybe like, I think about the same, like 5, 10, 15 miles out, but the winds of the edge of it were the worst. It made the tree, like, but the tree right outside my house, it was maybe foot to five feet from falling through the roof. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, you know how uh, the worst side of a hurricane is the east side? Yeah. It's coming in, and the way it's coming in, it's going to have the east side when it gets to me on the Mississippi side. And then when it takes a turn and goes towards Tennessee, if the winds change and go that way, which is what the meteorologist is saying. The east side, which come in from the ocean towards Tennessee, is going to turn and it'll be the east side right towards me again. Just like that magic game from Magic and shit. I just don't understand how that dang hurricane's taking that sharp of a dang turn. Oh, that it's just amazing. Thank you. 
sounds for that. Okay, so my dad sucks. He sold it to somebody and I asked him what it was. He said it's sesame seeds. Let's pick them up. I'm not that dang stupid. It's a green ball inside of a clear bag. What do you expect me to think of this? Then I saw where he put it at. I'm like, so. My dad basically does it. Be a good trip to get out there. It's about Some... an hour or two hours. Weed right, weed right here just sucks unless I'm getting it sealed. <laughs> I just, I can't believe he thought I was stupid enough to think that sesame seeds is in a green ball and it's in a clear bag. Getting twenty dollars a pop for one ball. Really? You think I'm this stupid? Scheme behind your car is supposed to mean the Rasta? No, the red, the yellow, and the green, if that's what it's called. Oh, yeah, it's, it's Rasta. Like the Rasta theme? Yeah. I just didn't know what format I wanted to do it, so rolling Rasta, Rasta car. Yeah. Anything weed related, you see a ganja car rolling by you, and it's just like, yeah. <laughs> He's doing something with his life. Mine's just for soldiers. That's all mine's for. Sucks I can't get a giant fucking man to flag for the whole car. Yeah. I wish we could have a delivery. Yeah. My livery would say thank the soldier across the bottom of the car. I have There'll be a one paint scheme I have where this is thank the truck. Like I, I have something like if I'm in first and you're just first one. I might have. I would probably have. Uh, you're not trying hard enough across the back of my window. Then again, if you do that, then you got somebody rich. That or 1 800, how am I driving? <laughs> like you see on the back of the loads trucks. That sounds alright. Yeah. 1 800. 
wondered, how am I driving? Or how am I driving? Something like that. That'd be a good idea to see. Put Domino's phone number on my dang car. You hate me, call this number. Hello, this is Domino's. Would you like to order a pizza? No, I was, I was calling about a uh, change for Bush Beer. Like, I ain't calling us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it would. You know how in NASCAR 15 on the PS3s you can make up whatever paint scheme you want to? That's what I put on my car and they actually called the number and then they come back over the night and I was listening and I didn't have my mic at the moment and they were like, You sorry son of a gun, I called the number on the side of your car to talk to you because I ain't liking the way you're driving and you want to give me Domino's phone number. Now I'm going to be in trouble because I prank called him. I'm texting back on my phone. I probably should have been stupid enough to call the number. Yeah, he shouldn't have called it. <laughs> <laughs> like you're stupid if you think I'll put my actual phone number on the side of the car. Yeah. And then he texts back, or actually, no, he said back over the mic. Well, why would you do something like that? Why to sponsor Domino's. Listen? He's like, to what you... now? I said, to sponsor Domino's. Be like, why'd you do something like that? Well, why'd you, why'd you do it? <laughs> I played uh, NASCAR 15 here recently, and I got into a war with somebody, and they had Trump 2020 on their car. I'm like, oh, that looks pretty freaking cool. I'm going to do that. I had done it and I got wrecked by a Biden supporter. Added to the collection. <laughs> a I mean, Biden he just, supporter? Yeah. He come down in the freaking corner and when he did, he just straight up hit me on the left rear of the car. And he just spun me out. And I hit the freaking wall and destroyed the car right where it said Trump 2020. That crap ticked me off. I was like, oh no, you did not. Are we, are we running, Jefferson? No, I can't run it. <laughs> do, you, do you have a setup? Nope. <laughs> you want mine? <laughs> sure. Let's see it. Come on, pause it. Alright, I mean, it doesn't matter since it's just you now. Hmm. Let me go. I'll go load it up and I'll just send it to you real quick. You raced with Miles, right? Miles, Miles Deep. Miles Deep Bomber. 